So in this video, we want to look at the derivation for the summation formula for the sum of the first n natural numbers. So again, this is a summation formula that was given to you in your homework assignment to assist you with working through some of the homework problems. And the claim is that if we take the sum from i equal 1 to n of i, or just i to the first here, that we can calculate that sum without actually calculating the series by taking the upper bound of summation n, multiplying it by n plus 1, and then dividing the result by 2. So this formula should give us a mechanism for finding the series sum without actually finding the individual terms in the uh, series. And we're calling this the sum of the first n natural numbers. Remember the natural numbers are the counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So if we take the summation, what you want to note is you get the sum from i equal 1 to n of i equals you start with a 1 plus and then you increment the 1 and plug it in for i you get 2 and you increment the 2 to get a 3 and this does in fact give you the sum of the first n because you, when you get to n you stop incrementing it gives you the sum of the first n natural numbers. So there's, there's more than one way to come up with this formula, but here's one technique that is frequently used. It's not maybe my favorite, but, I, but it is nice. I do like it. So the idea is that if you take the sum from i equal 1 to n, and we're going to do this twice. I'm going to take the sum from i equal 1 to n of i. Well, if we start with the 1, we then increment it, we get 2, plus we get let's say 3 plus dot 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 plus and before you get to n you're going to be at n minus 2 plus then you'll be at n minus 1 and then you'll get all the way out to n the upper bound of the summation and what we want to notice is that these are all just separated by addition signs and the order of addition signs uh, doesn't matter so I could just as easily write this sum backwards so the sum of the first n natural numbers could just as easily be written as n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus all of those terms in the middle plus and then 3 plus 2 plus 1 because the order because the order doesn't matter the order in which I write this shouldn't make a difference as to what the the um, sum turns out to be and the idea is you can add these together. So if I add the summation plus the summation, I get two times the summation. So I equal one to n equals, and then I'm gonna do a term by term addition. I do one plus n, and that's gonna give me an n plus one. Plus, I do two plus n minus one, but n minus one plus two is also n plus one plus, and then I'm going to add the 3 to the n minus 2, but n minus 2 plus 3 is also n plus 1. And we go through where the dot dots dots are, and we do a term by term addition all the way through. So we're going to get to n minus 2 right here, plus 3 is still n plus 1. And then n minus 1 plus the 2 is still n plus 1, and n plus 1 is n plus 1. So when we add the summation to itself twice, we get n plus 1 added to itself a bunch of times. And how many times is it added to itself? Well, there are n terms in this sequence. There are n terms. So this is a repeated addition of n plus 1 n times. And the shorthand for repeated addition of natural numbers is multiplication. So this is the same as the n n terms times n plus 1 gives you this repeated addition and this is 2 times the sum from i I left the i off of there i equal 1 to n of it's the sum of the i's and then to get the summation by itself which is what we have here we just multiply both sides of this by a half and that'll give us 2 divided by 2 is 1 so 1 times the summation is the sum from i equal 1 to n of i which equals the n times the n plus 1 all over the 2, which is one possible derivation of the summation formula.